Hey guys, I'm back here. It is, uh, what is it? December 5th. Yes, December 5th. And, uh, cold as heck out here. But I haven't been into these bees for about a week now. And I didn't put much sugar water on them. And the last time I put anything on them, I was said I needed to come back out later. But guys, I've been busy. I have been sick. Matter of fact, I'm still sick right now. But, you know, bee life has to continue. Has to continue. I'm actually walking out right now. I guess the only reason why I'm going out there, out here right now is I need to check and see how heavy they are. I'm really wanting to see how how heavy these guys are because I can't I'm not gonna be able to put sugar water on them right now but I think I can tell whether or not they're doing okay but well but how well they're heavy and I might pop a lid to see inside to see if um, see if uh, the sugar water is being um, is being was drank this past week because we did have a couple of we did have a couple of warm a uh, couple days there so uh but i'm gonna it's misty out here let me go misty ahead and turn it right now a little misty out and uh it's uh pretty cold actually so ooh, somebody got caught somebody got caught anyways uh i'm gonna check the weight of these things guys and uh we'll see this one right here was pretty good last time let me go ahead and check it real quick and um, well i'm gonna i'm gonna turn it back around i'm gonna check the weight of this one i'm doing it without gloves guys bees aren't gonna be out here anyway so there's not really anything to worry about i'm taking the thing off oh yeah yep 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 that one is heavy we are good on this hive this will be a good hive whoa what's going on got top car still going with sirens over there what's going on one second guys i'm kind of curious Oh, never mind. All right. Cop car, let him go. <laughs> Anyways, all right, guys. This one is good. It's really heavy. I'm not even worried about that one right now. The ones I'm worried about, guys, is the ones I put on last week, especially that one at the very end that I said was super light. I'm kind of worried about that one. Let me go ahead and check this one real quick. FYI. Some of my hives, as you, as you can see, has got uh, straps on them. If I had to do over again, straps are very good, in my opinion, guys. In my opinion, straps are really good for uh, wind issues. But for efficiency, I'm not a fan of them as much. So I think it's just a preference. I think if you want to make sure your hives are uh, really good and sturdy then use the uh the ratchet straps and guys all I'm, i went to harbor freight and got some old chibo ratchet straps i don't know if they're cheap or not but i got the kind that uh they they run through pretty good so but in my opinion from now on i will only be using bricks um it's a lot easier more efficient just take it off put it back on these ratchet straps are just kind of a pain in the butt after doing it a couple times so anyways let me check this one let's see how heavy this is guys yep that one's pretty good and heavy now it's definitely lighter than the one than the one that i just checked but i do want to check in here and see how much they have taken out of this 
Not much at all. Matter of fact, here I'll show you guys. But see, that's the thing. I'm gonna keep it in there because I, I'm kind of curious about something. When I take off these buckets, when I've taken off the buckets in the past, guys, all the bees are on the bottom of the uh, are on the bottom of the buckets, and so I'm thinking that it's created like a a warmth. Uh, that water or the sugar water holds in a lot more warmth and holds in a lot more of the temperature. So when they, they hook up close to that and uh, they, they're able to survive a little bit more, but still I'm really wanting these guys to be filled out. And there is going to be a couple more, uh, temperatures going to be coming here this week that I'm going to, uh, I'm wanting them to feed off on. So but anyways, let me go ahead and turn this around, show you guys. All right, here's the one I was just doing here. See that line? That's where the sugar water's at right now. I'm not having to worry about them building comb or anything right now because it's so cold. They're not. In, they're not even trying. I'll just put it right on top of the frames, and I don't know if these guys are surviving or what. But looks like there's quite a bit of bees in there. There's some. There's some in that frame. They're all the way over to that frame. I think it's doing pretty good for what it's worth but uh i'm gonna keep it on there for now for another week or so i'm gonna keep it on there for another week or so guys because uh i really I, I really would like them to be able to uh feed on that so one second let me fix this and this is why i'm not a fan of the uh ratchet straps because right now all i have to do is go and take the block put it set it back right on top and now i've got to take extra couple minutes to actually strap this crazy thing down so now you know my opinion on that so i don't know preference do you want the, do you want the chance of losing the the t having the hive tip over yada yada don't know i think it's very good stable stabling i don't know guys but anyways got that one done looks really good pretty heavy Do, doing good i think these two halves are doing really well um and guys i'm going to be doing some uh oxalic acid vaporization um in the next week or so so I'm gonna have to take these feeders off whenever I do that, cause I don't want to have the feeders on there. I don't wanna have to be able to smoke the entire thing. So probably next week or so, I'm gonna take them off. And then uh, the week after I'll probably vaporize them or something like that. I don't know exactly yet. I'm gonna wait until these, these temperatures get on, get on down so that um, the bees just aren't gonna work the sugar water as much anymore. Right now I'm still seeing 50 and 60 degree weather and so I'm assuming I'm my my theory and what I've been told is that you know when bees get above when, when they get that 60 degree weather they'll they'll take the sugar water, but anything below 50 they won't. But I don't know if I'm counting on that too much. I might be. We'll see. I'm gonna check this one right real quick. I'm set this over here. definitely definitely heavier guys i'm so glad i came out here that day and put those uh buckets on these two that i just checked the last had buckets on it and so uh so glad i did that they're definitely heavier now so they should be ready to go for the winter or harsher temperatures <laughs> but anyways let's check let's go this is the reason why i like them ta-da done all right i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these guys check up check them all i'll be with you matter of fact i want to go ahead and close this off go ahead and finish it and i'll be right back or i'll be right back with you that's what i was just talking about guys it is 40 something degrees obviously the bees are not even coming up here but they are here 
There's a little bit of one right there. They didn't even take it at all. So it's been really cold. I'm actually gonna take this back in the house, let it let it heat up a little bit, and I might put it back out here on a warmer day. But I'm just gonna let these guys hunker down. Take that off. Put that lid right back on. I'm not I'm gonna leave that right like that. Anyways, Got back to back it. out here. It's getting dark when I do this real quickly. So uh let's see here. These two are good. This one right here was good and heavy. This one right here was uh they weren't taking it, so I took I took the took them out. This one was uh it wasn't it wasn't heavy heavy but it was good enough and i left it on there i left the box the box on there because um still had some one there this one right here still had some liquid in uh some sugar water on it uh don't know it's really light this one right here i replaced the i replaced the quart jar with another quart jar that i got from over on that one uh this one's super light and this one is super light is is somewhat light also i just replaced it replaced that that bucket with the quart jar so guys out of all all of them i think my uh i think my uh single hives are doing the worst double hives are obviously doing a lot better but my single hives not so much guys not so much I'll catch you back on the inside when I get when I get right, inside. In here, um, it's getting dark out there. But uh, some of them are definitely a little lighter. I think my singles are definitely lighter than my doubles. Uh, I'm just gonna have to go out there sometime and, and put some more sugar water on whenever I can. Um, but the others are really good. So, but I, I just felt like I needed to get out there today and 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 at least check the weight of them. And so far, most of them are doing really well. So I'm. I'm I'm looking, I think I'm going to start looking forward to, to spring, but anyways, that's what I'm going to, that's it for this video, and uh, I'll probably go out and check my other, high, my other yard uh, another day, and then do pretty much do the exact same thing I did today, but um, yeah, it's uh, just getting them ready, getting them ready and hoping they're going to survive, if they don't, they don't, you know, we just move on, so but anyways, until next time.